Okay, so coming up on October 8th from 6.30 p.m., we have a voiceover for video games workshop run by uh, our special guest here, Amy Smith. How are you, Amy? Hi. Oh, I'm so good, and I'm so thankful that you've asked me to do this workshop. I'm so excited. Uh, I know that a lot of people have been asking about doing um, voiceover for video games. We've already run, run one workshop with Rachel uh, Naylor from the UK, which was uh, amazing. Um, so, so good that we can get you on board to do another one, but it is going to be different to what Rachel's done because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, she talked a lot about global. We're going to focus a little bit more, or you're going to focus a bit more on uh, an Australian angle, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Because I have this really strange philosophy. Um, not every voice actor needs to abide by it, but I'm just of a firm believer of, I do a lot of work in indie games. I actually need to understand that side of the industry and the implications of how that affects my job ultimately. So I do feel it's really important that if you do want to get into games and you do live in Australia, that demographic is still important. So you actually do need to know a decent amount about the game side as well in the state of our industry. Yeah, I mean, I mean, often when people think of uh, doing voiceover for video games, there's some pretty big titles out there. I mean, I'd love to be something like the the voice of the Master Chief in Halo, or, <laughs> or you know, or, or even something in a, in a Call of Duty game. Um, oh, uh, the dream. Yeah, the dream, right? <laughs> However, there was a lot going on, um, uh, sort of in the entry level and independent games, especially in Australia, right? Yeah, definitely right. I mean, I think it's really important to note that I don't have representation here in Australia. I have a few agencies overseas. But other than that, this video game work is a lot more of you hustling. So it's about, okay, well, where do I find this work? Mm -hmm. And a lot of those opportunities are Australian. But as um, an online voice talent, primarily, there are still a lot of global opportunities out there as well. So we're definitely going to be delving into both sides, both for the beginner and the professional, because a lot of the professional voice talent, they might have a couple of video game titles under their belt, but there's a whole world out there of all of these video games that people just aren't quite utilizing. So I'm here to shed a little bit of light on that as well. And in a conversation uh, we had earlier offline, uh, you've managed to to dig up some great contacts that even some some established voice talent haven't haven't heard about. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because the, the, I think with voice acting, it's a huge networking community. So you do end up just chatting to a heap of different people, and it feels mm. quite like quite a small world at times and yeah. yes I was speaking to some people who are represented with a heap of different agencies and yeah they don't have a lot of video game work either and they've been in the industry for 20 plus years so I really like to talk about all of this work whether it's at PAX and Smash and all of these really cool conventions and also at workshops as well and I'm kind of an open book I really don't mind about sharing all of this and yeah it's led to some really cool prospects for these uh, with these voice talent as well so I'm hoping everyone will be able to learn quite a few things from this workshop. Excellent. And, and the workshop, um, the variety of people coming along, we've got everyone from quite new to voiceover to uh, uh, people with a little more experience under their belts, but you've got kind of got all uh, bases covered, right? Yeah, definitely. So I actually look at it as a three tier system. So I have it as tier one, you're just starting out, you're looking at some unpaid jobs. And when I say that in the indie world, basically, it means that their game's not receiving revenue either. If they're receiving revenue, you receive revenue. That's just how it works. But if you're just getting started, and you're after a little game jam or something like that, um, I show you exactly where to go for that sort of stuff. Then tier two, so you're more on the part time side, like you're putting a couple of days towards this, you might have business cards, and you're starting to see it as a business. Then I show you the paid original content and then we look at tier three which is the business side and I'm showing you the character talent rosters that anybody can apply to if you have everything sorted so you've got the audio equipment you've got the demo reels you've got everything and you're ready to go and you've got a portfolio then I assure you that even if you're a professional you won't have applied to probably half of these so I can assure that it is catered at every single level. Sounds pretty exciting um, yeah. at the time we're recording this we've just got I think two slots left uh, for, wow. for your workshop. So uh, pretty exciting. Hours. Yeah, that's crazy. It was so fast. <laughs> Excellent. So um, um, obviously, uh, if by the time I upload this, uh, they're, they're still available, do do jump on uh, and sign up for uh, Amy's workshop. Um, and uh, we'll see you there on, uh, on October 8th, 6.30 p.m. We'll do. Be there. I'm looking forward to it. Bye. <laughs>